and gentlemen, please give a round of applause, please, to our distinguished guests and visitors for this investment contract signing and groundbreaking ceremony here, uh, here at the Roseman Sahali Gymnasium. Please welcome Senator Coco Pimentel. A round of applause, please. No pacto pagan na to mga master mang hold. His Senator Coco Pimentel. Uh, tupak tupakan na to, he honorable former governor Sadikol Dick Sahali. Inawa si Tawi-Tawi, yari palakpakan ta, governor Sadikol Sahali. Please also welcome with a grand applause, Sir Francis Palantino. Tupak tupakan mga mas taimang hold. Tupak tupakan na to, former Governor Norbert Sahali. Palakas sa palakpak po para kay Toto Norbert. Hello. Hello. Tupak tupakan na to, Vice Mayor Sin Bungao Municipality, Honorable Said Jumdail. Tupak tupakan na to, he board member Nasser Habi. At mga kasama niya sa sangkuriang pamilalawigan, magandang hapon po sa inyo. I'd like to acknowledge the arrival of the other distinguished guests. We have Honorable Maria Arlene Reyeson, Ambassador and Founding Chair of the McKinley Business Group and Vice Consul General to the United Nations. We also have General Odelon Ramoneda, Mr. Danilo Oros Jr. Good afternoon, sir. Miss Mary Catherine Pernites. Please also welcome Mr. Mark Rudyard Ladera. Also acknowledging Director Arnel Suyo of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority for Mindanao. Tupak. We also have, of course, our beloved Norje Sahale is here. We welcome you once again in this investment contract signing and groundbreaking ceremony here at the Rosemean Sahali Gymnasium. Alam po namin na excited tayo dahil marami tayo mga bisita ngayong hapon, especially all the way coming from the national government or coming from uh, Manila. Uh, matagal natin silang hindi nakita. Once again, isang malakas na pagsalubong sa pamamagitan ng palakpak para kina Senator Aquilino Coco Pimentel and Secretary Francis Tolentino. At siyempre, isa pang malakas para kay Haji Sadi Gonzali! Oh. 
Andito na ngayon. Uh, ready na siguro tayo. Partner? Everybody's excited. So settle down. We are going to start our short program. Tupak-tupakan na to in Congresswoman in Lawn District of Tawi-Tawi. Honorable Ruby Sahali. Opo. We again, uh, isang uh, malaking bagay na nakikita natin ngayon upang makada upang palad sina Senator Aquilino Pimentel and Senator Francis Tolentino. Uh, Tupakan na to mga mastay manghod. Ako mismo na excited dahil hindi ko alam kung anong papaano sa simulan. This is my first time to host the program na may mga kasama tayo mga senators, partner. So before we formally start our program, we'd like to acknowledge once again our visitors which we mentioned already uh, a while ago, but I'd like to mention them again so we can personally know them one by one. Uh, coming from our two senators, we also have the Honorable Maria Arlene Reazon, the Ambassador and Founding Chair of the McKinley Business Corporation and Vice Consul General to the United Nations. Isa pong palakpak para po sa kanya. Please acknowledge also General Odelon Ramon Neda. We also have Mr. Danilo Oros Jr. Please also welcome Mary, Miss Mary Catherine Pernites. Also, Mr. Mark Rudyard Ladera. We also have the Philippine Economic Zone Authority for Mindanao Director, Arnel Suyo. Of course, we've seen kanina ang ating mahal na Congresswoman, Madam Haja Ruby Sahali, isang palakpak po ulit para sa ating mahal na congresswoman. And of course, the father of Tawi-Tawi, as he's always been in our hearts, Govaji Maas Sadikol Sahali is here with us. Vice Governor Haji Anwar Abubakar also, and the members of the board of the Pang Sangguniang Panlalawigan, our mayors of the different municipalities, good afternoon. And also, we'd like to acknowledge, of course, the LGU of Panglima Sugala, headed by, of course, the Chief Executive, Honorable Reggie Sahali Generale. We also have the author of the Tawi-Tawi Special Economic Zone, Sir Hajid Sajid Adil. Good afternoon, po, sir. Members or representatives of the national line agencies, we have the DepEd who is coming in full force this afternoon, the men in uniform, other representatives from the social civic organizations, other visitors who are very distinguished as well. And of course, people of Panglima Sugala! Palagpakan natin ang ating mga sarili. Our local chief executive is here to formally welcome our visitors or guests. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Honorable Reggie Sahali Generale for her welcome message. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Distinguished guests and visitors, Honorable Gover Governor Sadiqul Sahali, the Chairman and President of Southern Frontier Maritime and Estate Development Corporation, Honorable Senator Coco Pimentel and Party, palakpakan po natin. 
Honorable Tolentino and Party, Representatives of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, Ambassador Arlene Rison, the representative of the DMK Sulu Archipelago Oil Corporation, and of course, our Chinese friends representing the All Right Incorporate, uh, Incorporation Limited, representatives of the Sultanate of Sulu Corporation Limited. Sa lahat po ng mga bisita namin, Nagaling pa sa labas ng tawi-tawi at lalong-lalo na ang aming mga kaibigan na nagmula pa sa iba't ibang municipality. Magandang magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. I am deeply honored to welcome each and every one of you to our municipality, Panglima Sugala Municipality, home to Sulu Hornbill. As an overview of the municipality of Panglimasugala. Panglimasugala is the third class municipality composed of 17 coastal and island barangays and having a land area of 44,666 hectares with a population of 44,185. Agriculture and fisheries have been the major source of livelihood of our people. And Panglima Sugala is dubbed as the food basket of Tawi-Tawi. And our municipality is very rich in agricultural and marine products. We have a special day. We call it the uh, market day or Tabu-Tabu Sin Panglima Sugala, which we have uh, every Friday po, we, we conduct the barter trading. Um, this has been established long, long time ago and kino continue pa hanggang ngayon uh, that practice of barter trading between the farmers and the fishermen particularly the bajaos is still being done so we have visitors we have vendors from the different municipalities who come they do their barter trading they purchase the farm products here in Pangmasugala and ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to witness one of the major developments in the province of Tawi Tawi. Another breakthrough for economic or our economic development, the Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone. And we shall be witnessing the groundbreaking after the signing of the contract. So the contract for the development of the 218 hectares of land in Barangay Colape. Uh, so this afternoon, we shall be witnessing the signing of the cooperation agreement between the project proponent, the Southern Frontier Maritime and Estate Development Corporation, headed, of course, by our own father, uh, Haji Sadikul Sali, and the stakeholders, the DMK Sulu Archipelago, Oil Corporation, the All Right Incorporation Limited, and the Sultanate of Sulu Corporation Limited. This cooperation agreement is for the development of the Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone and the Transshipment Port Kulape Panglima Sugala. With this development, inshallah, this might be. Um, uh, Panglima Sugala might become someday. Uh, Singapore of the Philippines. Parang ang, ang, anong taas ng pangarap natin. Pero alam ko po, this would pave way sa economic development dito sa Tawi-Tawi. We thank Allah for making Panglimasugala a venue of the Tawi-Tawi gigantic pro project. And of course, I, I believe that Allah, Allah's will will surely come. Lahat po ng mga hindi Ninanais natin para sa kabutihan naman, alam kong pagbibigyan niya tayo. Hopefully, with the Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone and the Transshipment Port, Panglima Sugala can already produce more goods and service 
says, this would boost your economic growth, progress and development, and of course, it would generate more employment and opportunities for our people. So, pangayong ko katan ko, top time mohan ko, let us support this project as it brings hope for our people and the economy of our, of course, the province and the Philippines as a whole. Kailangan sama-sama tayong lahat, magkaisa tayo. Hakataan manong siya dahil hindi ha, laom sing generation nila, we aula in tao pang masukala. Tukuhon kita niyo sing tao, tawi-tawi, bang man in pro project ini, supportan sing bawat isa sa atin, Pasalan ini ing magdihil kasanyangan pahulat na to nyo tawi tawi. Once again, welcome po sa lahat ng visitors natin to our brothers, the, our Chinese brothers, our Muslim brothers, and the soon to be senators ng Pilipinas, Honorable Coco Pimentel and Honorable Tolentino. <laughs> Dito sa Panglima Sugala, kami po ay one heart. Pag sinabi namin, kay Coco kami, kay Tolentino kami, dahil po kayo lang ang dumating dito sa Panglima Sugala at sa Tawi-Tawi, alam ko parating pang iba, number one at number two na kayo sa puso namin. Maraming salamat po. Good afternoon everyone. Magsukun. Tupak-tupakan na to and mayor na to kalasahan, mga taas tayo manghod. So mga mas tayo manghod, habiha iniwak to. Dibihil ka to, himungungan, ama sin tawi-tawi, ama sin pang lima sugala, masi-masi malasa harakyat, mamaruli. Way na rungaing dahil hamaas sin kita niyo, father of pang lima sugala, honorable sadikul Dick Sahali. Tupak-tupakan na to. Senator Coco Pimentel, who is the president of PDP Laban. To pakain the president of PDP Laban. Honorable Tolentino. Our very own Congresswoman Ruby Sahale. Madam Allen Riason, Ambassador. And uh, our most important friends from Hong Kong and China. Because, and of course, the Sultan. Kodil jelas pikiran Absolut All party pelaban Candidates Who are in attendance this afternoon And the honorable Gentlemen and ladies who accompanied Senator Kopu Pimentel to Tawi Tawi. Honorable Reggie Sahali of the municipality of Panglima Sugala. Municipal officials, officials of the National Line Agencies who are here in attendance this afternoon. Barangay officials, Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allow me first to formally greet you on this very special occasion with this special greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome one and all. 
Welcome to Panglima Sukalata Witawi. Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony of the Tawi-Tawi Especially Economic Zone and International Transshipment Port. It was in 2004 when I was elected for governor for the second time I was on top of that capital with friends and employees of the provincial government. I saw and observed more than 10 commercial vessels, foreign boats as we call it, we term it, passing through the state of Sibutu, sailing between Sibutu and Bungao. And I was informed further that things like this happen every day, all the year round. Having been informed that in the state of Malacca, billions of dollars being enjoyed by Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore, I was thinking, why can we not do it here in the Philippines? When the species are passing through the sailing of Sibutu, the sailing between Bungao with the uh, territorial water of our province. It becomes my obsession. I, I pass it to our colleagues to our friends in the House of Congress, but they were hesitant at the time to sponsor a bill until finally a certain friend, a congressman from Batangas, sponsored the bill and was able to pass it, the third reading, forward it to the Senate, where the Honorable Senator at that time, Senator Pimentel, the senior, the father of Coco Pimentel, sponsored that bill until its final reading. During the bicameral committee meeting, we were referred to the armed forces of the Philippines, and I have sat before the board of generals for four times, but sat to inform you, ladies and gentlemen, until the time our president Madam Gloria Arroyo stepped down, nothing had happened. So, for the past two presidents, walang nangyari. But, in the early part of the doctor's administration, he made an announcement that he is interested to establish an economic zone here in Southern Philippines. That, ladies and gentlemen, revived our initiative para magkaroon tayo uli ng pagkataon ng economic zone, economic zone dito sa Tawi-Tawi. I pursued this mega project with interest and dedication. Knowing that, knowing that for sure Tawi-Tawi is ready and the Tawi-Tawians are deserving. If you recall, it was during my third incumbency in 2010 that the province was finally extricated from the list of 20 poorest provinces in the Philippines. We were able to do that by improving the delivery of basic services, such as education, health, and social services, thereby improving our development indexes. Of course, peace and order has always been my signature program. 
as a pacemaker and pacekeeper. And infrastructure development has always ever been my preoccupation as a builder. Both of these programs call it the Sahali Program of Government. I repeat, call it as the Sahali Program of Government. This have ensured, sustained, particularly from 2004 to 2016, our socioeconomic growth as part of a group of islands of resource-rich province and a veritable gateway for Asian culture and economic changes. What is coming, me 19? Twenty nineteen election because of the clamor of the people for genuine leadership and through public service. I am running again for the election this coming May. I may not be having a big budgeted campaign like others may be loudly touting, but simply to me, I simply have my sincerity, integrity, and track records. to serve as guarantees to deserve your votes. And this time around, ladies and gentlemen, for the continuity of my program and projects for the growth and improved conditions of the province, I shall also be for bigger and major things to happen. I am for the general transformation of the province into a first-class local government unit. This special economic zone and international transshipment port at Kulapi, which we are going to undergo a break-in, I mean, groundbreaking this afternoon, will speak for, its, for itself. It is just the beginning. It is admitted that PISA, the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, has made this multi-billion dollar mega project possible. Specifically, with, the, with their guidance, encouragement, mandate, support, and cooperation, Norji and Sajid, did all these things necessary for the paperwork to be completed. It cost me a lot to arrive here. In terms of effort, time, and money, as it is not a government project. The project location is Barangay Kulapi. Municipality of Panglima, Sukala, Tawi, Tawi. Yet, it shall be a legacy project not only for my family and the people of Barangay Kulapi, but for all Tawi Tawians. Because this Ecoson and Transshipment Port is designed to transform Tawi Tawi into a BMP Yaga economic hub, a major regional and international transmit port appoint, and inshallah to be the next Singapore. In this economic zone, we shall be constructing commercial districts, 
like offices, towers, big hotels, and condominiums, shopping malls, recreation centers, executive housing, and many more, not only really big ports and giant airports. No less than our beloved president, His Excellency Rodrigo Rua Duterte, has expressed enthusiasm and support for this ecosystem project. He virtually passed track the approval of the makeup project as he has verbally directed PISA to prioritize the facilitation and processing of our application, registration, and accreditation, as this shall be one of his flagship project under the Build, Build, Build program. And it is with this groundbreaking event we are having today is now happening. Senator Manny Pacquiao, though he is not here, but unfortunately is not here, is abroad, is among our local investors. And there are foreign investors present with us here today. They come all the way from China and Hong Kong. Welcome, sir. We want to project a positive outlook for Tawi Tawi for the coming years. With this economic zone groundbreaking here at Kulapi, we'd like to announce to the peace-loving people of Tawi Tawi that the days ahead are promising for them. We shall make Tawi Tawi since shine more in Barm to become its pride, inspiration, and model for the upliftment and betterment of the Bangsamoro people. Mga kanakan katote manguran, tawangin niyo kami ay kamu magpasad in maksud na to'y di bukon parahang katao para kato niyo katanta. He janji ko kanyo in project ini Mag-benefit, bukan saja ang katao, doang katao, but the entire Tawi-Tawians will benefit from this. Bukan ay kamu magpasad, ay niyo kami pasari, tukuhan niyo kami, asupaya madawat na to, himaksun. Look, di na ako magpaba, si Bissar ako, lumukay mga ampin na ako rin eh. Ang po ay papiro ng kampin. Babado, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, magsukul, hamaasin pang lima sugala, ever known father of Tawi-Tawi and father of pang lima sugala. So ladies and gentlemen, another message. Hahambuok, manusia, laong tamag, luas, lungsad, sin pagpaaon, sin special economic zone and transmit, transmit, Transipment port di Hatawi-Tawi, labi luwa na di Hapang Lima Sukala, way narugaing laingkan, Profesor Sajid Adil. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. I really don't know how should I express my sincerest thanks and gratitude, first and foremost to Allah, Secondly, to our dear visitors who are here today now, Her Excellency Ambassador Riazon, the, our beloved Senators, Senator Pimentel and Senator Tolentino, our Sultanate of Sulu, Sultan Kudar, our visitors from Hong Kong and China who came here all the way and hindi pa nakatulog yan. They have not, you know, taken their rest yet. But anyway, since we are talking about the future of the province of Tawi-Tawi and also the future of the Republic of the Philippines, Tawi-Tawi, I think, will have to answer the question. 
This is more than 14 years in the making. It was started way back 2005. And no one believes me because this is an impossible dream. But these are dreams we are fantasizing about. But I want to thank Governor Sadikul Sahali that time because he was the only person in this province who believed me. I once told him, Mari pwedeng we can make Tawi-Tawi an economic zone. Ang lahat ang sabi imposible, pero siya ang sabi okay, gawin natin. Ang dali kausapin. Ang dali makaintindi. Lahat gagawin para lang sa inyong lahat. The economic landscape of the Philippines is not new to us. This country is saddled up with foreign debts amounting to tens of billions of U.S. dollars. Lubog po sa utang ang Pilipinas. And with this, we are faced with a new challenge of harnessing our own creativity and initiative whereby we could help this country rise up from the rubbles of economic misery. And with this as the author, I thus venture to say that my long and ignored province of Tawi-Tawi will soon yet to prove as the take-off point of the new found developmental initiatives that will help the country economically and will lead for the new generation and determination of our nation. Not everybody knows that the Philippines has its own Swiss Canal. That Cebuto Passage is the Swiss Canal of the Philippines. And Cebuto Passage is located between the island of Bungao and the island of Cebuto, around 16.22 nautical miles and 162 fathoms deep, more than 1,000 feet, and that is the favorite route of the foreign vessels. Why? Because of its unsullied serenity. Cebuto Passage today is the passage of 152 foreign vessels a day. Na hindi nakita sa Kongreso, hindi nakita sa Senado, sa tingin ko ngayon makikita lang ng Senado. I am just an ordinary man like you. I am not a lawyer, I'm not a congressman, I'm not a politician, but I have my extraordinary vision, not just for the province of Tawi-Tawi, for the entire country as well. If President Duterte can fight the war against drugs, then we can be in, fight, be in partner with him to fight the war against poverty. 152 foreign vessels a day, 55,400 foreign vessels a year, and it will make 15 billion U.S. dollars for Tawi-Tawi and the entire nation. Why I call that project the next Singapore? Because we are similarly alike to Singapore. Singapore has no natural resources. Singapore has no water, has no fish, has no oil. But why Singapore today considered as the richest country in Asia? And Singapore today is the busiest ports in the world because it can cater up to 600 foreign vessels every day, earning some $6 billion every month. Now, if Tawi Tawi will soon rise up to be the next Singapore. Lahat kayo, lahat tayo may trabaho. Kalimutan mo na ang kung, kung, kung baga sa kanta, kalimutan mo na yan, tandaan ninyo, this is not just about you and me, but this is about the future of the nation. I am challenging the President, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, 
hoping for the best to come that he will approve this the soonest possible time after this groundbreaking. This is already approved by the PESA, the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, under PESA Board Resolution Number 17-232. And once you are already approved by the PESA, you are good as approved by the President. Why? Because it is mandated by the law under Republic Act 8748, as amended by under the Republic Act 7916, but only the PESA has the right and the authority to adapt to sponsor, to monitor, and to reject economic zone in the country today. No any other agencies, only except the PESA. Sa tingin ko, kailangan natin magkaisa. Hindi lang magkaisa dahil sa kung ano ang nakikita natin ngayon. Magmahalan tayo, magkaisa tayo, dahil may kinabukasan tayo. Hahawaan ko ang holo, ang basilan, ang jambuanga. Hahawaan natin sila na maging isang mayamang lugar na kagaya natin. Bakit? Holo is very rich in coconut, in oil, in abaca. Basilan is very rich in rubber. Tawi-tawi is very rich in seaweeds, karajinan. Yellowfin tuna. We are all very rich in natural resources. We have the biggest sea in the country. The Sulu Sea in the east and the Silibi Sea in the west. Pero bakit tayo nakapasok pa noon sa mahirap sa mahirap, the poorest of the poor? I beg to disagree. And I can prove them wrong. Because this is not a poor country. This is not a poor province. The fact that we have here the Swiss Canal of the Philippines, whether you like it or not, after this groundbreaking, then we will start the game. Yayaman na tayo. I understand that the principal objection that they might have shoot us here is the mandated right to innocent passage by the foreign vessels. But the mandated right to innocent passage by the foreign vessels is notwithstanding. Notwithstanding in the sense that we have to remember that the Philippines, it, it must be recognized that the Philippines as an archipelagic state, the Philippines has its own first, national interest to protect. Second, the Philippines has its own archipelagic territory to defend. Third, the Philippines has its own deep sense of security to uphold. Fourth, the Philippines has its own patrimony to preserve. And fifth, the Philippines has its own lofty constitutional policy on the right to determination to pursue. So by rights and by international law, it is still the Philippines that will have to determine of which vessels may have the right access to the said passages and under what terms and conditions may such access be granted. Wag natin pabayaan ng teritoryo natin. Tingnan mo yung West Philippine Sea, pinaglaruan na. Tingnan mo yung halos karating bayan natin, kinuha na. That will never happen to Tawi-Tawi. Hindi namin papayagan maagaw ang Tawi-Tawi ng kung sino mang punso pilato dumadaan dyan sa aming karagatan. We have to charge them. And it is also clear, it is also clear written under the UNCLOS law, the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, under Article 26, Paragraph B, that the state can charge taxes, provided that the state will render services, services like bankering services, food services, security services. Sa madaling salita, pwede na kayo magtrabaho, pwede kayo magpatayo ng hotel, ng beach resort, ng OL Depot, ng fish cannery, ng kung ano-ano pa, call center agent. Meron ng trabaho naghihintay sa atin lahat. At yan ang titiyakin ko sa inyo. Bilang author nito na tinabaho namin ng 14 years, kasama ni Governor Sadi Kulsali, kasama ni Toto Norje Sahali, lahat ng Sahali pumunta sa likod ko. Niminsan, hindi ako pinabayaan dahil hindi rin kayo pababayaan. This is not about politics. This is about your future. 
Kung nandito lang ang Pangulo, hamunin ko siya ngayon sa lagdaan na niya. But anyway, nilagdaan na ito ng pesa, alam ko lalagdaan din niya. Kasi hinanap na itong author ng economic zone na ito. At yung ginawa natin na dating pinagtawanan, pinag-agawan na ngayon. So much for that. I can see the bright future for you. And the Philippines was once a great nation. What happened is I don't know. Maybe because of the miscalculation and the undiscipline of the citizens and of those running the country before. But we can make this country greater again. And we can do that. I believe that only strength respects strength and only power respects power. May God bless us all and thank you very much. And by the way, I forgot something. Lumipad kami rito, gusto ko magpagupit. Hindi ako nakapagpagupit dahil sa economic zone na ito. Magpakulay ng buhok, hindi rin ako nakapagpakulay ng buhok. I want to thank the Administrator Zone Manager of Philippine Economic Zone of Davao, Sir Arnel Yuso is here. Siya nagtanong sa akin, Ay, Prof, ilang taon mo na ginawa yun? Sa ko nalaman, sabi ko ilang taon, Only to find out today pala is March 18 and today is also my birthday. So thank you very much. May God bless us all again and happy birthday to you all because of your economic zone. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You know, listening to Sir Adel, hindi ko maiwasan na isipin, better days are coming to Panglima Sugala. Palakpakan natin itong program na ito. Now, we'll have a message of commitment. This one's coming from Sir Peter Poon, the Managing Director of All Right Incorporation Limited. A round of applause, please. Thank you. We would like to thank Mr. Sadigu Salah. Sahali and the people of Dhabi Dhabi for the very warm welcome and hospitality they have accorded us today. Manami Samahai Po. Sayin Yung. I just learned from today. <laughs> Your pace is Beautiful. The people are hospitable, and this activity is a good sign. Davi Davi province has great potential for economic progress, for industry growth, for eco tourism, for international trade and commerce, and of course, for the establishment of a special economic zone and international transshipment port. We in China, especially our investment team in Hong Kong, we have already made a long and careful study of this project. We are convinced. That we are interested in the project and we want to participate in this implementation as investors. And we wish to start doing business right away. In this regret, I am pleased to announce you, to you then, our business group in Hong Kong and I shall be investing an initial two billion dollars for the project. Thank you. Alam natin, inaantay natin sila magsalita. Gusto nyo ba silang marinig? I did a little bit of research para kahit pa paano uh, ma magawa ko ng justice ang pag-introduce sa ating senator. So he is the 28th Senate President. He comes from Cagayan de Oro. He is also the President of the PDP Laban. Amindanawan para sa Mindanawans, ladies and gentlemen, Senator Aquilino Martin Pimentel III 
our Coco Pimentel. Allow me to greet first the father of the province. Ang tawag nila sa iya, the legend, former governor Haji Sadikul Sahali. Pati yung, yung topic natin ngayon, siya po ang naka-use your kokote noon. Siya ang nakaisip noon. Palakpakan natin. Siya ang nakaisip. Use your kokote. <laughs> Nagustuhan ni Professor ang use your kokote. Of course, one of my best friend legislators, Congresswoman Ruby Sahali. Masipag. Kaming dalawa, masipag. We, we work. Alam, alam, namin, alam namin ang aming sakripisyo para po dun sa mga batas na makakabuti po, hindi lamang sa Tawi-Tawi, but sa buong Mindanao at sa buong Pilipinas. Palakbakan po natin. Of course, our host, Mayor Reggie Sahali Generale. Ma'am, thank you. And the Vice Mayor, Sally, our councillors, our board members. We have barangay chairmen and officials present. Palakpakan nato, mga yan sila ang frontliners ng ating gobyerno. Yan po ang mga nagsasakripisyo 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Palakpakan natin, pasalamatan nato sa ilang sakripisyo. We have PDP Laban mayoralty candidates in nine of your municipalities. Palakpakan po natin as the president of the party. I am very happy that we are well organized. And our investors, palakpakan natin from Hong Kong. Yung, na, yung speaker natin, madaling tandaan, he is Mr. Peter Pan. Palakpakan natin. DepEd family, led by Superintendent Abraham Hama, Jahama. Our uh, Division Superintendent Kiram Irilik. And, sorry, Irilis. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Our government workers, maganda hapon po sa inyo lahat. Palakpakan din po natin ang ating bisita, kapwa PDP Laban, candidate from Luzon, Francis Tolentino. Ang mensahe ko sa inyo, very simple lang po. Sino ba ang magtutulungan? Sino ang magtutulungan sa isang Mindanao nun na kandidato kung hindi mga taga Mindanao? Tama po ba yon? Tapos dahil sa malakas ang PDP laban dito po sa Tawi-Tawi, sino naman ang tutulong sa PDP laban? Mabago ko to, slate, kasama si Tol Tolentino kung hindi ang PDP laban. Tama po ba? So yan po yung ating gagawin. Anyway, papunta rito, Nag-lecture na sa akin si The Legend ha? kasi kasama kami sa sasakyan. Ako'y kumbinsido kung ako po'y mabalik sa Senado, we will make Tawi-Tawi the next Singapore. That is, that is the plan. And then yung, yung mga, interna, yung mga uh, vessels nga na dumadaan pala in between islands of Tawi-Tawi, E pag isipan po natin ang paraan na tawi-tawi will get a benefit from their use of such waters. Kasi sa ngayon, sa ngayon tawi-tawi is not getting any benefit but you, are also, but you are suffering some of the damage. May mga environmental damage, may mga garbage po na tayo, na tayo nakikita sa coastal towns of tawi-tawi. Hindi natin dapat payagan yan na magpatuloy. So salamat po sa father of the province at pinaliwanag niya sa akin yan at namulat ang aking mata sa situation po ng Tawi-Tawi. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, I will never forget this day because this is my first time in Tawi-Tawi. Salamat sa Diyos! 
Kasi last week sinabi ko sa TV interview sa akin, I want to visit Tawi-Tawi. And one week later, dinala na po ako ng Panginoon Diyos dito po sa inyong napakagandang lalawigan. The most peaceful province in southern Mindanao. Gawin natin itong tourism capital of the Philippines among others. Among others. Kasi sayang naman pagka maganda na yung lugar. Sa tourism tayo, ang tawag po dyan eh, low-hanging fruit. Ano na yan eh? Regalo na, regalo na ng Diyos sa atin eh, na maganda po yung ating lugar. So, a little, a little investment na lang, konting, konting pagod na lang, pwede na po tayong kumita sa blessings ng Panginoon Diyos sa ating lugar. So, that is our plan. Basta importante, magtulungan tayo. Ang importante, may plano tayo. Ha? So, paano tayo magkakaplano? Kailangan, use your kokote. Yan po yun. That's why, kung makita ninyo, konti lang, konti lang ang streamers ng inyong kapwa Mindanao noon, si Senador Coco Pimentel, konti lang po ang streamers ko. Pero ang streamers ko, ang mensahe, simple lang. Isabi nun, maraming problema ng ating bansa, maraming problema ng ating buhay, kaya nating solusyonan. Mag-isip lang tayo. Look at the root. Let us, look at the, let us look at the root cause of the problem at solusyonan po natin. So ganyan po yung ating gagawin. Si Senador Pimentel, maraming plano. 54 ang aking programa di gobyerno. Hindi ko na po ipaliwanag sa inyo lahat. Basta ang, ang masasabi ko lang po sa inyo, marami kayong access sa akin. Ah, manalo man ako o hindi, I will, I'm still a lawyer. Kung kailangan nyo ng tulong ko, marami po kayong access sa akin. Pwede pong padaan natin kay Ruby, pwede padaan natin kay Governor, pwede padaan natin sa partido. Ang daming members po ng party dito na kandidato natin. So that is now the link of Senator Coco Pimentel na kapwa ninyo Mindanao noon dito po sa lalawagan. Napakagandang God-blessed province of Tawi-Tawi. Pero bago po ako mag magpaalam sa inyo, para lang matandaan nyo po ako, Ulitin ko, ang aking pangalan, ah, bigay sa akin ng aking tatay. Kilala ba ninyo yung tatay ko? Oh, lalo na yung mga nasa local government. Si Senador Nene Pimentel, ang ama ng local government code. Regalo po niya sa taong bayan niyang local government code. Kaya tayong lahat, ama ninyo siya, ama ko rin siya. So magkapatid po tayong lahat. Ang pangalan... So pasalamat tayo kay tatay sa local government code. Pero kung nagpapasalamat din ako sa kanya sa pangalan na binigay niya sa akin. Anong pangalan na binigay ng tatay ko sa akin? Aquilino Martin. Tandaan ninyo yung pangalawang pangalan ko, Aquilino Martin. Tapos pinangalanan niya ako ang aking palayaw o nickname, Angga Coco. So, 54 years ago, ha, nalaman na ng tatay ko, na magiging, magiging sikat pala itong Coco Martin na ito. <laughs> so mga kababayan, nasa harap ninyo ang original Coco Martin. Oh. <laughs> Tapos, pinanganak pa sa Mindanao, sa Cagayan de Oro, original probinsyano din. <laughs> Tama ba <laughs> O nagustuhan din ni Prof yun. So mga kababayan, ganun na lang po. Ano? Basta marami tayong plano. Ha? Mahal natin ang ating bansa. Marami tayong plano. Okay? Senator Pimentel, Coco Pimentel, we join you in your plan to make Tawi-Tawi the next Singapore. Ang masasabi ko lang po sa inyo, mahal ni Senator Pimentel ang bansa, I will use my kokote for the good of our country. Dagang salamat kaninyong tanan. Isa pang napaka-importanteng panauhin ngayong hapon ay isang environmental lawyer. Mula sa Tagaytay City pero mahal din ang ating lugar sa Mindanao. Former MMDA Chairman. He was also the former President of the League of Cities of the Philippines a Brigadier General of the Philippine Army, former Presidential Advisor on Political Affairs, ang tol ng bawat 
Pilipino, Attorney Francis Tolentino. Simple tao, mapagkakatiwalaan, matino. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Wassalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sa atin pong Sa atin pong mga minamahal na mga personalities dito sa stage, Governor Sahali, Congresswoman Ruby, the Crown Prince of the Sultanate of Sulu, and of course Senator Coco Pimentel, lahat po ng mga panauhin natin from uh, From the investors community na nakasama namin ngayon, si Professor Ambassador Riazon, mga members ng DepEd family, nasaan po kayo? DepEd? Walang pasok ngayon. Magagalit si Secretary Briones. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. I join you here in this important gathering here in Panglima, Sugala. When I was still a member of the cabinet a few months ago, totoo pong istorya to, nag-uusap po kami sa gabinete kung ano pong gagawin after the Marawi siege. Ang lumabas po kaagad sa isipan ng Pangulo at tinulungan po namin is the restoration of the barter trade here in Tawi-Tawi. Although there were several members of the cabinet contesting And going for Zamboanga City, si Francis Tolentino po, kabilang yung iba, sabi ko, we go for Tawi-Tawi. Little did I know then that the barter trade will just be part of a bigger picture, the Tawi-Tawi Eco Zone and Freeport, which we will witness the signing agreement today. This agreement... This agreement, siguro hindi pa natin nare-realize yung impact nito. Ako po ay tiga Cavite. Nung bata pa ho ako, nagkaroon din ng ganitong signing agreement for the Cavite Export Processing Zone. Hindi po naiintindihan pa. But look at what it produced. It produced a well-developed, industrialized province south of Metro Manila, a first-class province known as Industrial Cavite. Now, we will be witnessing a similar event, which I believe the children present here will not probably feel right now the impact which would be produced two decades from now. Two decades from now or a decade from now, this area will be the hub of the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines Tradeway Hub. Wala na po siguro tayong ahanapin kung magiging mapayapa na ang lugar, pati mga karatig nito, ang kaunlara na po siguro ang kasunod. And this is the first important step. A baby step right now which will produce jobs, a great economy, a vibrant tourism, and a prosperous Tawi-Tawi and Mindanao. So I congratulate you all. Kung mananalo po kami ni Coco ngayong 2019, makakaasa po kayo na itutuloy natin ang sinimulan ngayong makasaysayang araw ng March 18, 2019. We witness the signing of an important document. Nandito na po lahat. Tama po si Senator Pimentel. Tourism, industrialization, your clean beaches, and the connectivity that this transshipment point will produce. Natural port, kagaya rin po sa Cavite, sa Sangli Point, at sa Batanga City Port, plus, I think, a very unified people of Tawi-Tawi. So, hindi na po ako magtatagal. Gusto ko na pong makita yung paglalagda 
ng isang makasaysayang dokumento para sa kaunlaran ng inyong lalawigan at ng buong BMIP area. Ako po si Francis Tolentino. I join you in this historic gathering. I join you in this historic endeavor. Mabuhay po ang tawi-tawi! May God bless the Philippines at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much, Senator Francis Tol ng Bawat Pilipino, Tolentino. We are now going to proceed to the signing of the contract to be entered into between the Southern Frontier Maritime and State Development Incorporated. This cooperation agreement is entered into and in between the Southern Frontier Maritime and Estate Development Corporation and DMK Sulu Archipelago Oil Corporation all right, and All Right Incorporation Limited and Sultanate of Sulu Incorporation Limited for the development of Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone and Transshipment Port at Kulape, Panglima, Sugala. Making Tawi Tawi the next Singapore. Once again, this is a cooperation agreement be signed in between or entered into between the Southern Frontier Maritime and SA Development Corporation and DMK Sulu Archipelago Oil Corporation and All Right Incorporation Limited and Sultanate of Sulu Corporation Limited for the development of Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone and Transshipment Port at Barangay Kulape, Panglima, Sugala. We are requesting our uh, stakeholders to please raise the folders or the signed agreement for our photographers to take uh, uh, photos of. After, that is, of course, after the contract signing. Just waiting for our uh, investors.
from DNK, DMK Sulu Archipelago Oil Corporation, All Right Incorporation Limited, Sultanate of Sulu Corporation Limited. In a few moments from now, we are going to break grounds for the development of Tawi Tawi Special Economic Zone and Transshipment Port here in Barangay Kulape, Panglima, Sugala. This is tagged to be Tawi Tawi, the next Singapore. In behalf of the Panglima, Sugala uh, constituents, uh, this is our dearest gratitude for all of you coming and uh, developing this area for the people of Panglima, Sugala and Tawi Tawi. So once again, isang uh, makasaysayan na hapon sa araw ng uh, sa araw na ito ang pagdalo ng ating mga investors ngayong hapon na ito. We also have, of course, the presence of our senators na nandito ngayon sa Barangay Kulape. Sabi pa ni Senator Coco, first time dito sa Kulape, and I think that he will be coming more and more. Uh, I mean, uh, Kulape Tawi Tawi. He will be coming more and more here in, ta in Tawi Tawi. Of course, we also have Senator Francis Tolentino. Palakpakan po natin ang ating dalawang senator. We are welcoming now our investors, uh, Chinese investors. So we are going to request your uh, uh, indulgence, sirs, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, para makapagpapicture po. Proceed na po tayo, sir. Uh, be careful. One by one. One by one. One by one. One by one, yeah. We are now going to proceed to the area where we will do the actual groundbreaking ceremony. Okay. <laughs> we will now do the groundbreaking. We invite everyone to count with us. Okay, everyone, let's count in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You show well. We can have the perfect picture for this. Sabay sabay lang po. Ah, wait. Just get a piece of a ground, so shovel, and then we pour it in. Okay, counting from five, four, three, two, one. One more time, para ano? One more time. One more time, sabay sabay po. On my go in three, two, one. So, congratulations. Hello. We will now have some uh, some time with our media, our VIPs with our media for a quick interview for about this economic zone.
First, we will have our two senators for a quick interview uh, with the media. We shall now continue with our interview with the media. A time with the media, we will now have, of course, the governor of the province of Tawi Tawi, our Haji Mas, Governor Haji Sadikul Sahali. <laughs> 